There have been a ton of $400 Android phones that promise to be just as good as high-priced flagships, but so many of them have missed the mark. But this new attempt from OnePlus might be the one that actually gives Samsung, LG, and HTC a run for their money. This is the OnePlus 3. Now we've heard this from OnePlus before. This plucky upstart has made a name for itself with its aggressively priced smartphones, questionable marketing tactics, and a strange invite system to buy those phones. It's often felt like that the marketing buzz around OnePlus overshadowed its actual products, which were good, but often compromised to hit those low prices. But the OnePlus 3 feels like a phone from a company that's learned a thing or two over the past couple of years. It is a bona fide Android flagship. It has Qualcomm's fastest processor, gobs of RAM, a beautiful AMOLED display, thin and light aluminum design, fingerprint scanner, high resolution camera, if you name it, the OnePlus 3 probably has it. And as all of this for under $400, it's available today and there's no invite system or waitlist to deal with. The OnePlus 3's design is good, but there's nothing particularly original about it. It kind of looks like the love child of an HTC and a Huawei. The phone's all-aluminum chassis is, is thin and polished, and it's really comfortable to hold. Unlike last year's OnePlus 2, which was kind of rough around the edges and felt like a brick in your hand, the OnePlus 3 is remarkably refined. The fingerprint scanner is really fast and accurate, and I love the fact that it has a physical switch for silencing alerts and ringtones. The phone's screen is a 5.5-inch 1080p AMOLED display, and it's really sharp and bright with great viewing angles. And it's not a 2K screen like you get on the Galaxy S7 or HTC 10 but unless you use your phone for virtual reality, you'd be hard pressed to notice the difference. OnePlus added a night mode to the phone software that makes it easier to view the screen at nighttime. You can think of it like Apple's night shift mode on the iPhone, but unfortunately it doesn't turn on and off automatically. But there are lots of other really clever ideas throughout the software, many of them borrowed from other devices. You can double tap the home button or the power button to launch a camera, or you can wave your hand over the display to see notifications in the clock. You can double tap the screen to wake it up or set it so that the screen just comes on automatically when you pull the phone out of your pocket. Now, companies like Motorola have had these features for years, but they're all really great additions and make the overall experience on the OnePlus 3 that much better. Now, overall, the OnePlus 3's Android Marshmallow software is really close to Google's Nexus software. There isn't really any bloatware or extra apps, aside from some basic gallery, music, and file management apps. Now, every high-end Android phone this year has had Qualcomm's Snapdragon 820 processor, and of course, the OnePlus 3 is no exception. But the OnePlus 3 pairs it with 6 gigabytes of RAM. That's more than you'll get from LG, Samsung, or HTC. And it just flies through anything I throw at it, whether it's games or messaging or multitasking. It's also really efficient. It has a 3000 milliamp hour battery that's strong enough to get through a full day of heavy use. And it comes with a quick charger in the box that lets you get up to 60% battery in just 30 minutes of charging. And yes, this time it has NFC, so you can use Android Pay or whatever else you need to use NFC for. One unique feature is the OnePlus 3's dual SIM card slots, and you can choose which SIM you want to use for calls, data, messaging, and so forth. That's a great feature if you travel, but be aware that it only works on T-Mobile and AT&T and their related companies here in the US, so you can't use it with Verizon or Sprint. Now at this price, you might expect to get a mediocre camera, but the OnePlus 3 16 megapixel camera has an f2.0 optically stabilized lens, and it takes actually really good photos. It's fast to launch, fast to capture, and it comes with a manual mode for even more control. Now, it's not as good as the Galaxy S7 in low light, but it's still very respectable. It's kind of like the best camera from last year's Android flagships, which is still pretty high praise. There's really only a few things that are missing from the OnePlus 3. It doesn't have any water resistance, you can't upgrade the 64 gigabytes of storage, and its screen really isn't great for VR. But other than that, it's a really great phone, and it easily goes toe to toe with the best Android phones you can buy right now for a price that's way less. This time around, you can ignore the hype and just buy the phone because the OnePlus 3 actually delivers. Thanks for watching. For more on the OnePlus 3 and all the other Android phones that you can buy right now, be sure to check us out at TheVerge.com and YouTube.com slash TheVerge. Are you just rolling, hoping to get a blooper? <laughs>